Good on New Zealand from sunny Sydney. So let's kick it off. Um, my name is Ralph Colby. I'm from Newington College in Sydney. Um, I'm really excited today to talk about enabling student voice and how it is making a massive difference in many schools. I feel that schools that harness student voice are helping enable students to be super. Having student voice can enable a huge amount, including ownership of learning, better engagement, pride in work, and in turn, deeper learning. Student voice in exploring the use of ICT is also particularly powerful uh, as it usually means a move from what we think is useful through to ICT being authentic and relevant. So let's look at a couple of examples and ways to enable and, in ha and harness student voice. Firstly, a great way of enabling student voice is by simply letting students be the drivers and demonstrators. I've chosen to highlight my daughter's school here, Banks Meadow Public School, as a particularly good school at doing this where the students give demonstration of tools that, they, uh, that work for them. Um, tasks are also often set with a choice of what tool they want to use um, that will enable the desired results. Students also proudly demonstrate their work to folks that visit the school and it's really cool to see. Many schools have ICT clubs or similar as well where students investigate uh, and report on different possibilities. I see these groups working really well and the students also have the opportunity to share and present, particularly in the form of running workshops or uh, help sessions for students and staff. These clubs or groups are generally a lot of fun and they can really make a big difference. Uh, Student-driven surveys can really help tailor the teaching and learning of a school. Uh, in our school we had a particular success with a survey that collected feedback on how students perceived they were being taught, um, how they saw themselves as learners what they would like to see happen in the classroom and what tools they see as useful in enabling that. One enabling of student voice that I thought was certainly worth recommending was having student groups presenting at staff meetings and being actively involved in professional learning committees and the like. Um, and the opportunity to present, listen and then contribute ideas with staff for really getting things going with learning. Student voices is, is super in the form of having student panels, presentations and interactions at conferences and teach meets and the like. And this again can give real authenticity and purpose to content. I use Nick Patsianis uh, here as an awesome example of how powerful it can be having student voice in teach meets, both online and in real life. So in closing, I recommend incorporating student voice as much as possible. Um, and encourage you to do likewise. And if you have, I, and I hope you have valued a few examples of how this can be enabled. Thank you.